Okay, my mic, my mic, my mic, my mic, my mic, my mic. My mic, my mic, my mic, my mic. I'm gonna fucking steal that, dude. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's the best. It's, it's never not fun. It's never not fun to do. It. You can do it all day in the van. My mic, my yeah. mic, my mic. My mic, my mic, my mic, my mic. All right. He's Mike Weeby. He's Chris Criswell. He is from the Riverboat Gamblers and Ghost Knife and a lot of other cool stuff. And he is from Flatliners and he has a solo project and he also is in a gang. <laughs> Shit. And completely unrelated to the gang, we're here at Renaissance Recordings. Canadian government actually funds musicians. What's that all about, and how does it affect the music scene in Canada? Yeah, does it feel weird being a communist? <laughs> um, my favorite like thing about communism here. is aliens. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, being from Canada is fantastic for a lot of reasons. Um, there is like a great, yeah, there is a great like support net for for the arts. Like that's probably one of the best reasons for me to still live in Canada. There's a lot of great reasons, but that's one of the best, you know what I mean, being a musician and everything. Um, I mean, it's just, it, it's, 
it's not something that everyone can take advantage of, uh, or that's sorry, that's handed out to people. But it's it's a thing that you know you can you can like apply and do all this paperwork and like get and it's kind of a pain in the ass. Do a lot but of it's cool apply that it exists. as a scam because that's what I we would know. do here I'm in not America. Sure. I was going to ask what you would do if you had this at yeah. your fingertips. Oh, so you just scam it? Abuse the hell out of it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, you know what? I'm sure people piece do. Piece where I sit around and watch Netflix <laughs> at my house. <laughs> Give me money. Give me money. You you can't call it that though. It's just it's a little too. Well. Give me loonies. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Give me loonies and tunies. But is, is it, I, I guess they just vet out who's seriously doing stuff and who's... Yeah, it's tough to say, man, because I, it, it really depends. There's so many determining factors to it, and it's a thing where, like, we've been a band for 12 years and have gotten, without the help of a label, we've gotten maybe, like, two grants. Mm -hmm. But it's a lot of paperwork to do. You know what and I mean? Does that like, come based on a record that you're doing, or just touring? There's different ones. Like I think the two we got were for tours. Mm -hmm. So when we just like, it's kind of a yeah, crazy domestic thing. Domestic tours or foreign? Usually tours? like an international tour. So you'd be yeah. like, we went here and lost all this money, but we had a lot of fun and we ate bread and cheese for breakfast and it yeah. was so zany and we had all these cool beers from every tiny town in Germany. But we lost a lot of money and it sucked. And you have to yeah. kind of put that real. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, I had the best time of my life, but it sucked for you. Yeah. And, uh, but we told a lot of people about the wonders of Canada. Yeah. Oh yeah. Put our steak down in the world. Yeah, we were just we were handing out bottles of maple syrup and loonies. They couldn't use them there. We could have used them when we got home. That was the, our biggest downfall. I think that's where we lost all our money. Preaching we were just the gospel out. of Tim Hortons <laughs> everywhere yeah. we went. You guys ever heard of a double double? Okay, let me tell you all about it. <laughs> no. no, it. Uh, but like uh, labels have like a I think a, like a clearer shot, um, like a like a like a quicker avenue to the the funds because you can do like like uh, production like like an album production grant, recording grant. You can do a demo grant. You can do a marketing grant, promotional grant. It's pretty crazy. But again, it's all this paperwork. It's all this, you know, like asinine stuff that is great in the end, and it's a fantastic thing. I just mean to bring that up in the sense of like, it's funny because a lot of musicians are lazy. Yeah. Right? Like, they're not lazy when it comes to, we're going to go on tour for like 10 weeks and like sleep in the weirdest places and ne like, or not sleep and drive all day yeah. and drink all night or whatever. You know, you play these songs and everything. Like, it's exhausting, but musicians are still kind of lazy. Yeah. Right? Oh, I mean, I think there's like a lot of uh, musicians, I think, uh, particularly rock people. Yeah. Like, we got into this stuff to avoid bureaucracy exactly. of any sort. Exactly. I, I mean, my head just like, when I have to. Uh, when I have to like do a taxes, it's yeah. just, it's just, I don't, I, yeah, I, 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 don't, I did this to not <laughs> yeah. fill out paperwork and do math. Like, there are no words that can describe yeah. the feeling. It's so fuddling. <laughs> yeah, um, but I mean, so that's the thing. It's 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 like, it's this kind of beautiful scenario because they are kind of weeding out, you know, like the. The kind of um, half steppers. <laughs> the half steppers. That we call yeah, here. I was gonna say that, but yeah. I didn't know. I didn't want it to. Yeah, know, yeah. Gang affiliation and yeah. all that stuff. Um, yeah, but it, it's like you know, if 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 you can really brave the process and get through it and like do all that paperwork or just get someone to do it for you, which is great. Um, then Mom. if you can take advantage of it, it's it's awesome, man. It's it's such a supportive, uh, you know, country for the arts and stuff. So, Canada rules. America rules. <clears throat> that was a question, right? Yeah. Cool. Depends. 
hands Cut your ties thin as wool thread Get out of my Hey Chris. Hey Mike. You got a new release out? My mic, my mic, my mic, my mic, my mic. <clears throat> testing, testing. Yes, I do actually. Came out digitally on May. In May uh, <laughs> this past year. OneWeekRecords.com, uh, and you can get a ten-song acoustic album for five dollars, which is fantastic if you ask me. And uh, you know we're still in a recession, so they didn't put it nice. free on the new iPhone. I don't think so. No, it was between me and. You too. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I don't know, whatever. Me too? Yeah, yeah. No, I think you, you, you too. Like Y O U T O O. Not you too. Not you. That, is that a you? How do you do a U with one hand? Who? You too. Not that one. Another one. It's like a new thing they're trying. Okay. It's cool. Just like naming your band something that's already taken, but spelling it completely differently. Mm -hmm. It's so cool. Trying to I'm trying to find a really creative way to spell Metallica completely different from the way it's already spelled. It's tougher than you think. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I'm not so good with it's, regular letters. It's tougher than you think. I also just learned to read and spell and write, mm -hmm. so it's a whole new thing for me. But yeah, um, you can get the album, uh, OneWeekRecords.com, and Fat Rec is going to put the vinyl out on October 14th, I think, in October. Now, what's vinyl? Oh, vinyl is uh, 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 just a fantastic use of our natural resources, uh, and it's basically just like a circular tape that's really flat. Mm -hmm. And uh, flatter than a frisbee. It's like a circular and, uh, digital tape. It's like a big. The look on your face was just fucking priceless, because it was just vacant. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's not really. It's not digital. It's uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's a huge, it's like a big CD. Yeah. Like a laser disc. Okay, I'm familiar with those. It, they, it's on laser disc. Fast yeah. putting it on a laser disc oh, killer. in October. Oh, killer. Yeah. It's going to be fantastic. Killer. And you have a new release with Ghost Knife. Uh, Ghost Knife has a 7 inch. Tell, us, tell me um, about that. We're it's the only uh, similar to the laser disc, but smaller. Oh, wow. And uh, not as long of a range with the laser. Not as long of a range, not as long gotcha. of a range vocally as what you do <laughs> okay. either. Okay. Uh, not as many songs. It makes me feel really uncomfortable, like it's a jab. Yeah. No, no, it's, you, I, no, actually, <laughs> sincerely, it's not, because I just watched you do some songs, and um, I really, you've got a real good voice. Thanks, man. And uh, Just learned to read and write and spell, too. I know, I know. Quadruple I'm glad you. I'm glad you worked on the vocal stuff first. I think yeah, it's paying off. Yeah, I think off so, too, yeah. Right now. Yeah. Uh, I just always we, had to remember well, my I'll words. Well, I'll ask you, for real, uh, how long do you do acoustic stuff? I've been playing acoustic shows for the last... I think probably the last like four or five years, but really sporadically, like re really here and there. Did you not like it at first? Was it I harder was... coming from coming from a loud screaming punk stuff? Totally. How long did it take you to get used to doing kind of quieter? Stuff uh, like I'm still getting used to it. I really am. I just keep burping while I'm answering these questions. Yeah. <laughs> you should do that in the um, songs. Is that you know what's actually interesting, and I'm glad you asked about burping during an acoustic mm. set. That's what you asked, right? Mm. Is that um, it's way more obvious. 
Mm. That's it. That's the answer to Once your question. Once you work that into part of a song. Yeah, just that would be nice. Yeah. Like a little percussion. Yeah, <laughs> that would be yeah. a good, a good. No, I, I actually like I I I still get kind of nervous before I play on your own because it's a wholly it's it's a totally yeah. different thing from playing with a band and. Uh, nerves don't really uh, like enter the fold. I don't think with any of the guys in the Flatliners anymore because it's just kind of what we do. Um, and at a certain point, you just like, if you're having fun and you're comfortable with each other on stage, like it doesn't yeah. matter. The nerves are just whatever. Who cares? Um, but when you're on your own, you know, it's kind of like all eyes ears on you, or at least you think that. And it's uh, it's kind of a trip. But I mean, it's it's a fun challenge. Like definitely after being in a band for 12 years to just do this as well. What's up with see, Flatliners? They're just all hanging out at home and. Doing their yeah, thing. it's good to take breaks and do different stuff. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's healthy first time. for everybody to do. I think uh, so too. Creatively, and then when you get back together, I think it makes you. Yeah. Go like, yeah, I'm ready to do this. Totally, man. It's gonna. I mean, we we're doing a tour, um, doing like a six-week Canadian-U.S. tour in no, uh, October, November. So that's the next thing we're doing. But yeah, I mean, I'm doing that. Paul has a band called Hounds, who are really, really good. Uh, just kind of like, kind of like reminds me of like old Black Flag and stuff. Uh, it's definitely nothing like that new Black Flag, but. Uh, has anybody ever said, who put the hounds out? But they're asking about the record label. Who put the hounds out? Who? Oh, maybe, yeah. Let's, let's cut that joke. That <laughs> Oh, my bedroom floor 
Um, so, uh, what are a few small changes that could be made in the music industry that would greatly benefit, you know, more working class musicians like y'all? Wow. Specifically us, if you bought all our records and <laughs> all came to the shows and bought all of the merch. That would help everybody. Just pay in the music industry. some dough. Yeah. <laughs> Bitcoin, take Bitcoin. I but as a whole, like man, I don't know. I, there's a that's a question that comes up a lot, and I don't. I don't know. It's a thing. Uh, nobody's gonna pay for music anymore. No, like I got that. I understand yeah. that. Um, <laughs> but I don't really know what the next step is, other than like really like. And I think like the whole punk world is kind of lightened up a little bit on the don't sell out, put your thing in the thing. I yeah, think everybody's yeah. kind of. I think everybody's pretty much on board with like. Oh yeah, there's no other way to yeah, do, do this. Just do what you gotta do. And it's so if you're not still about fun and make music and yeah. enjoy yourself, then that's cool. <laughs> it's and it's so not about like if you it's just to make it's not even to make ends meet, it's to like not lose as much money as far when yeah, you like get course. a song and like a <laughs> like a, if you if you're lucky enough to get a song occasionally we are with like a, a video game or a, a thing, it's like I don't it's never like in our pockets, it's like okay, of course. cool. It goes back can, into the uh, whole the, the practice space and and uh, rent yeah. and uh, the trailer, which you know is probably gonna get stolen, and the van that's gonna break down, <laughs> you know, and, well, and all that stuff. It's never like it's really like it's tough, it's tough. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I think the only way that things could improve is that more famous musicians gotta buy gas companies. Right, and you get like a membership card as a musician for that gas station, mm. free gas. Yeah, and more famous musicians need to own um, restaurants, and you get like a card for the restaurant, yeah. free food. Cause I, you know, I did I did a little <laughs> bit of acting work back in the day. I was in a, a trauma movie and. Uh, uh, we call prison a go-go. Check it out. So anyway, I got free food at Planet Hollywood That's for awesome. a number of years there. They have there. great food. Oh, my God. Matzo sticks. You guys yeah. ever had those before? The Schwarzenberger? Like Did you ever have the Schwarzenberger? Schwarzenberger. Yes. No, who's my, that name? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, I've heard of him. He's an American We just actor. got him in Canada. He's an American <laughs> actor. Funny name. Yeah. He sounds nice. Yeah. He is actually an uh, American actor and uh, one of our <laughs> great leaders. Oh, that's fantastic. We stopped calling him Schwartz. We stopped calling him Arnold Schwarzenegger and started calling him Great Leader for a That's while. That's cool. It's just easier to say. And now to be totally honest with you, we call him Grandpa. Can he read, write, and spell? Um, with his fists. That's perfect. That's the only way. That's how I learned. Yeah. Yeah. He it sounds is. familiar, actually. I may have learned yeah. from him. Maybe, maybe my tutor. Yeah. My tutor. <laughs> <laughs> not a tutor. <laughs> that's not a tutor. Oh my god. Yeah. Dude, that's gonna be the end. That's <laughs> fucking.